it's the age of Aquarius. The ninth lecture. This lecture will be devoted to the exercises that can balance our energetic and spiritual system, our chakra system, our and our energetic bodies. These exercises are very well known in among humans that go in for spiritual development. They are called yoga, religion exercises, karate, or others that can that are connected with our balancing. The balancing of our physical body, the balancing of our spiritual body, and other exercises that can balance, that can help us to exchange our energy, to transmit energy from one chakra through our spine, through our spine till the crown chakra, from our first chakra till our crown chakra. So today I'll explain you some exercises, some breathing exercises that can be helpful. First exercise is when you breathe and count till eight. Then you stop breathing and count till eight too. Then you breathing out and count to eight too. And then you make a break for eight seconds. Don't breathe. And then you repeat whole cycle of breathing. So when you do this exercise, you balance your channels. As you know, there are three energetic channels in our body. Pingala, Nadi, Pingala, Ida and Central Channel, Sushumna. So when we use this exercise, we balance these channels. Also, when we use this exercise, we fool our heart chakra with and our throat chakra with pure energy because when we breathe we breathe in prana a part of a fire a fire the fifth element of nature that is around us so you must know that our chakras consist from a fire and the they as a bowl they as a bowl but the they must get some food, get some nourishment, and when we do this exercise, we get the different kinds of nourishments for our chakras, so we nourish them. And you and when you do this exercise for a long period of time, many cycles, you begin to feel that your hands are full of energy, full of heat that flows through your fingers outside. And you, you can use energy of your hands from the cycle of breathing to cure other people because you get this energy, you can feel it in your hands. And when, but you can feel this energy only when your chakra system is full of energy, is complete with different energy, is complete with prana. 
So then we can use our chakra system for curing other people. But we can use the energy that comes through our hands. Yeah, the heating energy, the heating type of energy that cures everybody, that cures everything around you. But for feeling our and fulfilling and completion of our chakras, we must use breathing exercises, we must use yoga. So this breathing exercises, when we breathe for 8 seconds, then we stop our breathing, and then we breathe out, and then we stop our breathing again. This exercise balances our three energetic channels that is our, in our pin bodies. There are also other types of breathing exercises. For instance, we make a short breathing and then a long breathing out. This exercise pulls our throat chakra and our sixth chakra. It helps us to develop our mental activity because you can feel how our brain became full of different pra energy. It can so when we use prana by when we use prana by doing this exercise our so our third eye, our sixth chakra, began full of prana, and this prana comes through our brain, our brain system, and it speedifies our mental process, and it speedifies the, the, the growth of nervous system, nervous cells, it improves the rates of your hypothalamus, thalamus, uh, your ventricles, your it balances your right and your left hemisphere. So this breathing exercise is very helpful for your balancing, for achievement of this pure balance. Only when you balance your energetic system you can achieve the highest type of purification and there is an, the short exercise when we make a long breath and then a short breath out this exercise is not fulfill us with uh, the energy it, it gives us some energy some prana but the main purpose of this exercise is when we make a long breath and then a short breath out to clarify our chakra system, we clarify our mental activity. So this exercise is fulfilling our brain with different energy with prana and then exercise. Purify our mental activity, purify our chakra system. So in this lecture, I have told you about three breathing exercises that is that are very helpful for your development, for balancing of your sin centers, for curing your energetic problems, your physical problems by using prana, by using a fire and you can also heal other people by using your hands because you can feel the flow that, that comes through your hands and you can even feel that ha when uh, for instance when I cure someone's illness for instance headache I come to this person I and I think through my subconsciousness I extract the thought that through my hands the energy begin to flow to this 
person and fulfill it by their pure energy and this person feel the new amount of energy that appears in his organism uh, so and I feel that the decay the decay of my own energy because my energy flows from, from my body from my chakra system to another person because and but it refers to the positive type of energy when we transmit our positive energy to another person so we, we can use this person but we can also take his negative person to our to our organism but it is even more dangerous and more risky procedure because yeah, we can get his illness we can get his illness so when we absorb others as an others people negative energy we must purify from it we must use for instance cold water cold cold shower cold shower because when we use cold water it uh, it washes away this negative energy so I have already told you that there are two p types of curing other people through giving them your own positive energy and through taking their negative energy you can give them your positive energy and you can take their negative energy so this type of curing can cure the uh, illnesses that are not very serious such as headache but it can also cure such illnesses as serious illness such as cancer also, but through a long period of time because it uh, it's only energetical influence but uh, th there is also another way of curing uh, when we use our en energy to uh, to breaking uh, their uh, other people physical ma material physical body and for and for instance uh, clarifying uh, his cancer or solving uh, his ulcer by using our thought and by using the energy that flows from our fingers to this person so there are uh, common types of curing as transmitting positive energy as taking negative and uncommon is and uncommon is really difficult because we must we, oh, we use our energy for uh, we must use very strong power very strong force of energy for uh, getting into his skin for extracting his cancer for solving his ulcer if he has ulcer or gastritis but so this type of curing is uh, can be used by only uh, bodied and bound uh, type of people such as uh, horrors of the highest level such as uh, philippine uh, uh, doctors philippine uh, extrasensory uh, individuals yeah. so it is because this type of influence is influenced through energy on the mat matter on the stuff so thank you for so I thank you for your attention goodbye see you soon I hope this lecture will be helpful for your development for your spiritual for your religious development, for purifying of your chakras, for for giving your possibility to cure uh, such uh, unhealthy illnesses as headache, stomachache, the and other kind of pains and aches that are not really serious. So thank you for attention. Goodbye. It was the age of Aquarius. See you soon.